voluntarism is a kindergarten level way of thinking, philosophy. That is the allegation that some people make. And I'm going to chat about that a little bit and see if it's it's correct. Uh, so voluntarism at its essence is everything ought to be voluntary. All interactions between humans uh, should be voluntary. There should not be any violence initiated. Some people use the word force to say, you know, we, people should not use force against each other. But any, you know, higher level thinking person recognizes that force is a physics term. Um, it just it's an energy pushing against another, you know, something to that effect. Um, so there, it's easy to say, hey, we shouldn't use force against each other. Well, it's much cleaner to say we should not initiate violence against each other. And, and that one I think we can get behind. So that is the basic philosophy of voluntarism. We should not initiate violence against others. Everything, uh, all human interactions should be voluntary. And that is so simplistic. The allegation that this is a kindergarten level philosophy, yeah, I, I kind of have to say, okay, um, ding, ding, you got us there. Um, it is a very simple, basic philosophy. And, of course, we don't want to fall for the fallacy of anything that's simple isn't good. Um, you know, there, there can be a meal that is very, you get a piece of celery and, and put some peanut butter on it, and yeah, it's pretty good. Very simple uh, food you've put together there, a very simple snack. It's good, though, and uh, we can't fall for the fallacy that if something is simple, it's not good. But, uh, so where do these folks who say that voluntarism is, is not any good because it's simple, where are they making their big error? That's the question. Well, I would suggest that they are making their error by skipping the foundation. They're skipping the most important basic part of building any house or philosophy or anything like that. It's the foundation. And they're skipping past that, and they're looking at the, the many complex details and trying to think about and plan those, and they're ignoring the fact that they have skipped this most important foundational part and they're building this whole complicated, impressive, word-sounding uh, house of cards on a, a quicksand, a, a, a bog, a, a swamp. It's just there's, there's not a good foundation. It's going to fall. And here's how it falls. I'm going to use a, a radical example of rape. And if somebody says, well, uh, rape is okay because, you know, a guy's got to get his rocks off. And, you know, sometimes that's the only way you can figure out to do it. So that would be kind of like, it would be kind of a statist argument that, you know, that, that's the format that the statist would use. That, yeah, well, sometimes you have to do bad things because you want to achieve a certain end. And it seems like a cool, or not a cool, but an efficient way of doing it. Well, the voluntarist, the kindergarten-level philosophy, says, no, uh, we first, before we look at how we solve a want or a need, we go back to this very basic foundation and we say, is it cool according to this basic foundational principle of the non-aggression principle of everything being voluntary between people? And so in looking at the the question of, yeah, should that dude have raped that gal? The statist way of thinking, I'm not saying statists believe that women should be raped, but the statist way of thinking would be that, you know, this might be the best way to tie her up. This might be the best way to gag her. Let's use the latest, greatest technology to do this. And then this is how the guy can feel power and, and get his rocks off and, and such. Whereas the voluntarist is just starting at this basic kindergarten level and saying, hey, wait, uh, before we move on in this evaluating this situation, this thing that happened, uh, did anyone initiate violence against anyone else? Did anyone have a relationship or, or a, a transaction, uh, an event that was not 
voluntarily agreed to by both parties. Well, of course, in this example, this horrific example of rape, yes, somebody did violate that non-aggression principle, this basic voluntarist principle. So right then, the conversation stops. And we cannot, I don't think, say that the voluntarist is a simpleton or naive because he doesn't discuss the best type of rope to tie up a rape victim with or the best way to gag her so she doesn't alert somebody that might save her. Um, Then the, the common argument is, well, you don't know a better way to tie her up than with nylon and a, a double hitch knot, and you're not even suggesting a better rope material or a better knot to tie, uh, to, to use to tie her up. And if you're not even thinking about solutions, then I don't even care what you have to say. And this is not, this is not reasonable. This is not reason based. This is not logical. This is not morally good, according to I think almost anyone's uh, obje- subjective moral beliefs uh, or objective, if they think they're, they're such a thing. It just it doesn't add up. So, is voluntarism based on a simple kindergarten concept? Yep. Um, I would say most kindergartners could understand voluntarism. Absolutely. Uh, is that a bad thing? No, it isn't. It's actually something I'm pretty proud to call a philosophy that I endorse, that I try to live in my life, non-aggression principle, all interactions with others being voluntary. Yep, pretty simple, pretty elementary, pretty basic.